Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Fantastic Contraption for the PlayStation VR. This came out last week, July 11th, and is made by Radial Games and Northway Games. It's currently $17.99 on the PlayStation Store. Now, full disclosure, I was given a review code from the developers. Uh, huge thank you for that, but as always, I will try to be as honest as possible and bring up any complaints that I had while playing the game. I've put about 6 hours into the game now, with 30 levels completed out of the 50 total. And I'm going to guess that it would probably take you around 9 to 10 hours to beat all 50 levels, and that's not counting going back and playing previous ones again. So far, the levels keep bringing new ideas to the table, and it hasn't stopped. Uh, like, I had never thought of making a slide to bring the ball around until a level kind of hinted that I should do that. And there was one level where I had to make a wheel sideways and then put a stick on the end of it, so that way the stick would tap the the goal ball thingy, that whatever you want to call it. And I had never thought to use the wheels in that way. Up until that point, I was just using them to make vehicles. So it seems like the game has a lot of little tricks that it keeps uh, bringing to your attention. Like, oh, don't forget, you can actually kind of do this. And it, it feels really great when you find out one of these. I think this is one of the more unique looking titles on PSVR right now. It's a somewhat simple art style, but I really like it, and it pulls it off well. The game will often use color to tell you how an item is reacting, or which direction it's facing, and one example of this is that the game changes the color of a wheel depending on which way it's facing. After putting some time into the game, you'll memorize these and use it to build quicker and more efficiently. This is a very relaxing game. You'll sit there and get ideas and build them, then you'll test them, watch them fail, inevitably, and then tweak them until they work and reach the goal. The game can get stressful, but in the same way any good puzzle will make you feel. You'll get stuck, but then things will click and you'll get a great sense of accomplishment once you watch your creation reach the goal. I think it says something when I just got Farpoint two days ago, and I have only played it once because I'd rather go back to Fantastic Contraption and keep trying the levels I've been stuck on. The game makes time fly, and it's one of the very few PSVR games where I just keep saying, one more level, one more level, and then I realize it's 5am. If you like puzzle games, then you definitely need to check this game out. And even if you don't like puzzle games, if you just like making things and building things and trying them out, if you've ever enjoyed playing with Legos or Kinects or what this game makes me think of is Geomag. if anyone even remember those um, that's exactly what this game makes me think of is messing with those and building things and just seeing what works throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks I suck at puzzle games and I still have been having a blast playing this game now there are some issues I have with the game most of them are minor but the major one for me is that I think this game needs a better tutorial system there's a lot of things this game does not teach you and I get why the developers did it, they wanted you to just go and figure it out on your own. But there gets to a point where it's where it's almost a little ridiculous. Uh, it doesn't tell you what the black orbs do that are on under the cat on uh, its like stomach. Those are called sticky orbs, they make things move slower and, well, make things stick. Um, I didn't know what the blue sticks do. Those are water sticks. They go through objects. Um, there's there's a lot of things like that. Like, did you know you can reach behind your right shoulder and grab wood sticks? Reach behind your left shoulder, grab water sticks. Reach behind uh, your head to get, I think it's wheels. And then there's ones for ears and I think one for the eye and maybe mouth. There's, there's a bunch of those where it doesn't teach you any of that. And you just kind of figure it out on your own, which... A lot of those I ended up actually having to go through the Vive uh, manual that's available over there. I don't think we have one for the PSVR unless there's uh, some option I'm missing. And I, I think the game would, would really benefit from a better tutorial system. I also think a hint system would be really appreciated. Maybe make it optional so that way the people that don't feel like they need it can turn it off and that's that. But I think it'd be really helpful if, say, the little cat would maybe point in a direction or give you an item that it thinks would help in, in this situation 
or maybe just maybe a pop-up that says like have you tried um, I don't know just using wheels like maybe it's something that only really requires wheels or or maybe it only requires you to make a slide so say oh have you tried just using sticks and sticky balls or something like that you know like like some sort of hint system I think would help because there were a few times where I got so stuck and I spent a good 40 minutes 40 30 40 minutes just sitting there on a level having no clue where to even start and I mean again I am awful with puzzle games so maybe that's just me but an optional hint system would be really appreciated I'd also really like to see uh, the ability to rotate a level without having to go back to the resize island, which you do by holding the square button. Now the problem with doing that is you load into the resize island, rotate, and then you load back into the other level you were in, and you lose your progress. Everything you built is wiped, at least in the two or three times that I've accidentally done that and forgotten about it, I've lost what I built. So that can be frustrating when you just wanted to build something that maybe was uh that was wrapped around an entire area and you you can't get up and walk around like you can on the Vive version because the tracking on the PSVR is you know it's it's a lot more limited so being able to rotate levels uh in already in the level that would be really nice I'd also like to see the undo and redo buttons somewhere in here um I know back on June 20th, the PC version of the game got that, however, it's not on the PSVR version. I noticed that X, if you use the X button, that picks up things, it picks up your entire contraption rather than picking up just one joint, and then Square resets the level or loads into the resize island, um, or sorry, resets the view, uh, recenters you or whatever. However, the triangle and circle button also do those. Uh, so X is to pick up things. Circle also picks up things uh, the same way. Tr triangle and square both do the exact same thing. They recenter the view or go back to resize island. I would like to see uh, undo and redo on those buttons. And then maybe on the left hand have rotate level. Something like that would I think would work really well. One of my last complaints I really have with the game, and this is very minor, not necessary at all, and I don't even know if I really want this, um, I noticed there being quite a lack of music going on in the game. And there's times where I actually really appreciate that. I like it being totally dead quiet, and I just am sitting there with my own thoughts and building. But there were some times where I was like, man, I kind of wish I had some quiet music just going on in the background or something. Um, don't know, that's, uh, maybe, maybe on that one, that, that's why I left that as the last complaint, because I'm, it's not really a complaint, I, I, I just felt like bringing that up because it felt odd not having any music in the game. But overall, I highly recommend this game, not only to people who love puzzle games or those who love building things, but to PSVR owners in general, you should definitely check this game out. It's a fantastic VR game where you'll catch yourself saying one more level before bed and then realizing hours have passed by. It's an addicting game that looks and feels great and is a ton of fun and you should all definitely check it out. And once again I'd like to thank Radial Games and Northway Games for sending me a review code of their game. Huge thank you for that, that was awesome of you guys and I hope you appreciated my review and will consider the complaints I had, mainly the tutorial one. I think the rest of those kind of could go without, uh, it, it, like, not a huge deal if they don't get patched in, but the tutorial one I think could really, really help. Um, the music one, I'm still not 100% sure if I really want that. If that was added, I, I would hope that will be an optional thing that you can turn off. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I had a blast playing your game, and thank you so much for sending me a code. And thank you everyone for watching my review, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That was awesome.